Hey, what's up, guys? I just want to do a, another assembly video for the version 2 uh, Iconic X FBB foldable version frame here. Um, it's not going to be a beginning to end every nut and bolt installation, but it'll be in parts um, and steps showing you. So um, you're going to get your, your basic kit. It's going to come with all your plates, lower, upper, um, distro board installed on the top plate of your arm supports, those two, so you'll see the distro here. You got your four arms and then uh, you got your, your hardware package comes in a bag if it's not already assembled. Just dump it out, you should have 10 purple screws, 10 silver screws for the lower plate, or for the top plates but the lower bottom. You got eight for the arms, for vi vibration dampeners and you got 10 inch and a half standoffs and a Dean's connector. So that's your introductory of your parts included in the kit. I'll be right back and I'll start the assembly. Right, back. So what you're going to need is um, just to assemble the whole thing. Um, if you do it the way I'm doing it right now, all you're going to need is a screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver and a little wrench for the uh, lock nuts. I use a little Tamiya wrench because uh, stand-ups are 3 16 and it has a nice 3 16 uh, socket on it. So, and I'll show you how what I do when I use that. It just makes it easier. So I go ahead and I insert uh, purple screws a couple at a time. And then I go ahead and just thread on the standoffs to the purple screws now. So now I'm doing it by hand. See how I just thread it on there? Now there's two purple with two standoffs. And instead of using a, a wrench to tighten them from here so you don't risk stripping these out, I just snug them up. Just keep turning until it snugs up real tight there without going too tight. If you go too tight, those threads will break off in those standoffs. I've done that. So I just keep turning like that. Now they're snug. So I'm going to continue to do all of these. I'm going to do all these just like this, okay? I'm going to go ahead and stop the video, and I'm going to put those on and come back. All right, so you can see I got all these uh, stand-ups on here with the purple screws. This, this, this part's a little bit important here, and I've seen guys, um, the way they assemble, and there's a problem if you don't assemble it like this. I'm going to show you. So now I got this top piece with the standoffs. I'm going to go ahead and just flip it over like that. I'm going to take my other bottom piece of the top frame supports and you see how I have it flat on a table. This is important because if you try to screw each one of these screws in the top of those standoffs there, you're, you might screw them and you might get a, a bow effect. I've seen some of the build, builds, you might get a bow effect by tightening it up like that. So the best thing to do is just lay this flat. Lay your top piece on top here. You can put a couple of screws in and get started here. And then this helps you keep it flat on the table, you know, when you tighten it up. Because once it's tightened, it's going gonna, it's gonna to maintain that shape that you uh, put it in. And by doing this, it's going to help you uh, keep it nice and flush and flat there. Just do a few of them. You don't have to tighten them all yet. Just just get them all in. But don't tighten them all up. So get them all in. I'm going to stop the video and I'll put them all in and I'll come back. Okay, so I got all these screws in here. It's flush. I'm going to put my hand on it while I tighten down, snug up these uh, screws. Now again, you don't have to go so tight. So you don't strip them out in the stand standoffs. Just snug them up. You do all of them here. There's ten for the bottom, ten for the top. And then also attach your GoPro mount just by the front with the front two screws like that. And I'm gonna show you something about the GoPro and why I did it like this. So right now, they're all tight and I know it's flat on the table here. So 
Now another, one of the reasons why this GoPro, and a lot of people ask me, why is this separate? Why is this GoPro plate separate here? Um, one of the reasons is this. The GoPro sits on here, and if this was all one piece, this, this bows a little bit, just a little bit. It's, it might not even be enough to bother anybody, but it bows down a little bit. By cutting that, I'm overlapping the material here. So it's not just held on by the screws. It's obvious there's some leverage. There's some back pressure that's the two plates are sandwiched up to each other. So this is actually giving more support here. So it doesn't it doesn't do that so bad. Um, that's just one of the reasons why I did it like that. So all right, so now we got this plate all done. And it's flat and it's not bowed. Okay, so we'll put that aside for now. Um, the next step here is your two plates. Now I'm stopping the video. I'm stopping the video for these. This this frame will take you literally 15, 20 minutes to assemble, if that. I mean, really, if you your first time, you're gonna you know you're gonna go a little slow. Um, anyways, get your two plates. Um, top plate, bottom plate. Top plate has the distro. Sometimes it will come installed. Sometimes I'll leave it off. Depends on if I got time. Um, it shouldn't matter which way you put them. You know, they're 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 uh, symmetrical. It's just that uh, sometimes tolerances are off or whatever, you know. But just turn them, flip them, see if you get the the best hole alignment, and then you're done with that. So take take one of them. Doesn't matter which one you start off with. Um, get your spacers that come with the uh, in the hardware pack. And the screws here. Okay, so you just take, um, you can start with one of the plates, and depending if you want to go up or down with the screws that make the screws hidden inside or the nuts on the bottom, whatever, it's up to you. This is going to be my, it's my bottom plate, so I'm going to go up. So I'm just going to feed screws, a few of them through here like this. I'm going to feed them through the holes. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spacer holes and spacers that go in those positions right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? So I'll just start feeding some screws through. And then you take your spacers and then just thread them on. Real easy by hand. You don't have to use a wrench or anything to tighten those up. Just put them on, spin them down. I'll do this one. I'm going to stop the video and do the rest. Okay. Now there's there's uh, three screws and spacers here, but you're going to do all eight. So I'm going to stop the video and do the rest. All right, guys. I got them all in. So I got eight here. Eight spacers on and threaded uh, nuts, or I'm sorry, screws. And there's a reason why I use threaded spacers versus just spacers is because it just adds a little bit more strength into this plate by having an extra threaded uh, component on there, you know? So, um, next step is, I got it like that. I'm gonna go ahead and just set the other plate on. You can see the fitment is dead on. It fell right on those, those holes. You know, if you, need to, if you need to turn it, just turn it, it'll still go on. So it'll, it'll line up. My machine's pretty, it's got a pretty tight tolerance, so um, things will fit easily. Uh, but like I said, if you if you got a better fitment the other way, go ahead, do it the other way. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's, an, it's symmetrical, so. So now that you got these two together, take your screws, I mean, sorry, your nut, your lock nuts, and thread each one on there. And like I said, you'll have eight of those. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video. I want to put all these on. I'm going to tighten them up. Alright, so I got these two plates on and I started to put the vibration dampeners on. You can see there's four in the corners. But I'll show you what I do. Um, I don't put these screws on between the screws that hold the vibration dampeners. I don't put them on before I put these plates together because some people may want to switch around and move around wherever they want the distro. 
um, but to put the vibration dampeners on, just uh, spread open the piece like that, stick your finger in there, and then just put the, the hole, screw right in the hole, and then just squeeze down one hand like that, then take your dampener and just thread it on there, and then just stick your screwdriver through the hole, tighten it up, not too tight, but just enough. So now you got your your bottom arm supports with the vibration dampeners. Now with this design, it was cool. I wanted to make it so you can remove arms on and off the whole frame without taking any part of the frame apart. Because um, when it folds, it folds up, leaving visibility for those screws. See? So you could put them on and like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the top frame on. Like I said, doesn't matter which way you go here. Just go ahead and just lay it on top, line it up. And put your four uh, screws that are going to go down to your vibration dampeners in. Don't tighten them too much, just, just enough. Again, it's a pretty good hole alignment. Right on. I like these vibration dampeners better where the, the screws thread down to them instead of a nut. It just makes it easier for assembly. I just kind of hold the damper while I screw, tighten it up here. Again, you don't have to pry them so tight so they tear or something, but I've never had one tear. Right. So that's, virtually that's your frame right there. And then do your arms. All you do is just Whatever one you want to start at, just slide them in between the plates. Put your first screw through. You can go up or down, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go down. Just line up the hole. Put it through. Put it through the other side. Oops. Trying to get in front of the camera. Let's go right through. Take your lock nuts and start it. And you do the same one for the back one. You don't need to take any part of the frame apart. And there's the sliding mechanism. Put the last two in here. Lock nuts. I'm not going to lock these down on the arms because I got to take them right back off. And that's it. <clears throat> There's the Iconic X assembled. Um, like I was telling you, what makes it nice is you don't have to take any part of the frame apart to take these screws out. You just uh, slide them open to the open position like that, and then you can just get to the, you got access to the screws. Um, also, when you open them up, when you want to use it and you're going to go fly, open up the arms, you can access those back screws on the arms to tighten them if you really want. Um, I found that if you snug them up before when you're assembling, they'll stay pretty good. They'll stay tight. But if you need to snug them up, just take a wrench and the screwdriver right there, and you got two access holes here that go straight down right to the screw. You have two access holes here. That's for the front. So, that's it for the assembly video. Iconic X.